What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's an overcast day in Finley, Ohio. I just got a notification on my phone that a storm watch is in effect, but I'm trying to get a video in real quick anyway. As it's Wednesday, I figure it's fitting to do a WTF Wednesday video. So for those who may be new to the program, WTF Wednesday is a one day a week when I do a beer that I normally wouldn't showcase on this program. Sometimes this means I do stuff from the big boys, Bud Miller and Coors. Sometimes I do stuff from microbreweries, but maybe it's a little bit off the beaten path. Maybe weird ingredients or strange styles. Today I'm going to do an international beer, and this one is Singha, and this is from Thailand. It says right here, the original Thai beer. Now, uh, for those who didn't watch the unboxing video, one of our viewers, a guy named Josh, just moved to Thailand and got married to a woman named River. So I wanted to say congratulations to you guys on the nuptials. I wish you guys all the best over in Thailand. Now, in honor of the wedding, we'll check out a Thai beer. So like I said, this one is a, uh, it says premium lager. It kind of looks like a Euro lager, I'm guessing. It looks like kind of a you can see through the thing, it looks kind of pale in color. I um, went to untap to look up the beer itself. It says a premium lager beer brewed from the finest ingredients. Singha is a full-bodied 100% barley malt beer that's distinctively, that's distinctively rich in the taste with strong hop characteristic. Brewed with three hops, Saz, Pearl, and Hallertau. So, gives us all three types of, of hops, which is, I guess, a little different for something that's more of a macro-type beer. Um, let's give it a shot. I guess let's look at the crown here. Kind of interesting. It says Boone Rawd, R-A-W-D, Brewery. Um, and let's see what else we have as far as stats. 5% ABV, 20 IBUs. Ratings-wise, doesn't do too bad. Uh, 3.14 on Untapped. Uh, 3.05 on Beer Advocate, which is freakishly similar. And then we have, for the overall rating, the um, Untapped one was a 71. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't expect anything crazy from it. So, see how it is. Going with the Fatheads glass today. Color you can see already is quite light. Uh, let's see. Now, first off, this is pretty clear. You can see through it. Fair amount of carbonation. Got a fair amount of bubbles bouncing around in there. And actually, not too bad. I expected this to be like a Euro Lager kind of thing. Um, you got a finger's worth of decent frothy looking head. Now, I looked at Untapped. I swear I had this more recently, but I haven't had it in the 10 years I've been on Untapped. So I guess this is the first I've had it in a while. For color, I'll probably go, if I'm using my Brew HQ SRM chart, I'm going to go with a one or a two. Pale straw, very pale in color. Let's give it a sniff. Pick up some sweet kind of cereal grain. That's it. Just kind of a light sweetness. It's not gross, though. A lot of times when you get, like, macro-type beers um, or the Euro lagers, they kind of have a gross sweetness to them. I don't think that it has that. Just kind of lightly sweet. Well, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Light-bodied. I think the initial taste... You pick up kind of the, the sweet malt. Then you get a little bit of the hops. It's not a huge hop punch, but I mean, again, 20 IBUs is kind of, kind of low, but you do pick it up. You know that it's there. Um, light, sweet. This is relatively smooth. Um, you know, when I think about places like Thailand, you know, obviously you have some very warm days out there. This is the kind of beer that I think you could probably pretty easily sit by the pool, relax, have a few of these, uh, you know, and it would go down quite nicely. Now, I will say this for being a, a macro-esque beer, I don't really find anything offensive about this. Now, it doesn't wow you in any way. It's not big hops. It's not big malt flavor or anything like that. Uh, but it also doesn't really disappoint in any way either. If I were to compare this to... Kind of macro, maybe like a, a Miller Lite or, or Coors or even Coors Original, something like that. Um, I think this stacks up fairly nicely. I don't think it's a bad beer by any stretch of the imagination. So for me, Singha, you would get a big thumbs up. I would have another one, no problem. Now, I was surprised. I used to be able to find this locally um, pretty easy. We had a Thai restaurant, but recently I haven't seen it around. Um, so I had to order it from that halftime beverage in New York. I think I paid 
maybe two bucks for it. I'll throw the price up when I, uh, I'll look at my receipt from that place and tell you how much it costs. But for $2 and change, whatever it might have cost, solid beer, definitely would have another. So uh, thanks for recommending I try this one, Josh. Greatly appreciate it. And again, congratulations on your marriage. Wish you guys all the best. Till next time. Cheers.